What is up, everybody? This is your Superstar, and in this video, after my last video about the copyright system, or maybe there was two video, there was two videos ago. Anyway, I just had this, yeah, this, uh, yeah, I, I mentioned that why don't I randomly contact the people that have copied my video, and it's like it's a great idea. Let's do it. Let's go. So this year is the copyright feature. It means that you could just copy, you know, it shows all the people that have like duplicated a video, hundred percent of their video. It's a match with my video. In other words, they've they've literally just re-uploaded my video, and so yeah. That, that, that's not good. That's not good. So anyway, we're going to contact the channel owner. Okay, there we go. So, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm just going to... I've never actually done this before, so we're just we're just going to see what we can say. There we go. So, there we go. Send it. Your email will be shared with the uploader. Yeah, that's all good. That's all good. They can see it publicly on my channel anyway. Superstar had it at gmail.com. Okay, there we go. Okay, can we, can we edit this message? Are you serious? We can't... Oh, are you serious? Another... YouTuber, this is what it says, uh, notice the content in a video you uploaded, this, if you're using someone else, they may ask, copy strike for your, ca really? That is that how it actually works? Is that how it actually works? If, if you use another channel's, but I don't necessarily want to give them a copyright strike, I just want to email them, I just want to do a custom email, and it hit, why does it hide the email address? That's so stupid! Why can't I contact them, like, directly? Like, why does it have to go through YouTube and give them a copyright strike, potentially? That is not what I... That's that's not what I... Wait, I'll just, I'll just copy... Wait, from YouTube... Oh, it sends it to them, but you can't choose what to say. It just is from your email address. That's kind of random. Okay, so we can't... What, what else can we do? We could request video removal. We could move to archive. Well, actually, it's not... We're not moving... Request video removal. There you go. Request... Request no actually that one's been up for ages. It's just cool because that one's an actual consistent one that doesn't keep t going away This one this one, no. Yeah, this one here. No this one here. Okay. There we go do Adelands ch challenge three winner I don't okay. I don't need wait, but actually play the video to check that it is indeed this one here That's definitely that's definitely me. There we go. That's yeah, it's a hundred percent me Okay, there we go. I don't want to play the audio though because I don't want to then have to do all the details for the audio. Okay, so there we go. If we request, I have I have tried this feature before. Um, and then you have to put all this all the details in, and I really didn't want to do that. To like, there we go. So as you can see, these are, these are all the details you send when you when you request a video removal. But I didn't really want to do that because it's like literally they got nine views. It was like is completely not worth trying to get rid of it. Like as and take it down. Like. It, Nine views, come on. Anyway, so we obviously, we can't, me well, at least I just want to message them anyway. Uh, like, uh, why can't, you can't choose the message. That's really annoying. Like, you could search up their channel and then comment on one of their videos, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to see how this goes. But I really don't like messing with the, uh, like, might remove it a strike. Like, that is, like, so threatening. Like, I know that, yes, it is a copyright, but I just want to say, please remove it in the, in the nicest possible way. Not, I don't want to copyright strike them. I just want to say, please remove it. You've copied my video. Please take it down. I don't want to copyright strike your channel, but just please take it down. Anyway, we'll send this, and hopefully they don't get a strike over that. I'll just, yeah. I've never used the feature. There we go. Message sent. So now, request, and so it doesn't even count as a, wait, what? So why, what's the difference between a contact channel and request? So if you request, I guess... I don't even know the difference, because that sounded very threatening, the contact channel. But I just wanted it, I could email them and ask them to politely take it down without going through all this, like, request that, and you request the details, and it gets real serious. Like, I just want to say, please, oh, there we go, there's that, there's that, all the messages, is I wonder what it would say. Oh, that's right, a default message with my email attached. Okay, well, there you go, folks. That is, uh, it wasn't, I didn't get to have some fun with, with the messages I sent them. Although, 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 I, yeah, anyway, have an awesome day. You're awesome. Mr. Beast is awesome. See you later.